And today I'm gonna to be talking about caulking your tape. It's one of the subjects I get a lot of questions about, and it's kind of a controversial thing that we do, but it really works. We've been doing it for, you know, maybe 10 to 12 years, and we've had a lot of success getting perfectly straight lines with it. And two of the tapes we use to do the method, caulking the tape, is frog tape, and then we use CP199. And a lot of questions are coming to me is when do you pull your tape? When do you pull the tape before the caulking dries, after the caulking dries, before the paint dries, after the paint dries? I'm gonna try to answer that question for you today. So one thing, we've got CP199. We typically use our production tape, a tape like this. It's a product from Sure Tape. Both of these are from Sure Tape. We'll use the CP199 on smooth surfaces. Anything that's smooth, glass, smooth trim, anything that's smooth where we're gonna spray. Whenever you're spraying and you got a tape like this on a smooth surface, you're typically not gonna have any bleeding going underneath your tape. Now, if you get to rough surfaces, we've got walls right here. This is an orange, heavy orange peel texture wall. That's when we're gonna start getting concerned about paint bleeding underneath our tape. And the heavier the textured wall is, we're going to begin to go from frog tape to frog tape and caulking. Now frog tape is a tape that has this dust over the, the outside of the tape that swells and when it swells nothing can bleed underneath it and it happens instantly when paint touches it. So frog tape on lightly textured surfaces or smooth surfaces, glass and um, on top of smooth trim, stuff like that, if you're brushing it, frog tape works really well. But a lot of times even on smooth surfaces we're going to use a combination of caulking and frog tape to ensure a perfectly straight line. So this wall right here, you can see I've already, I've been messing around, testing it. This is a superly heavy textured wall. It's not a knockdown, but it's a heavy, heavy orange peel texture. Um, if I put, for instance, some frog tape on this wall, I'm really concerned about my um, paint bleeding underneath there. And one of the reasons is the frog tape, you got these, these high peaks and valleys on this wall and the tape itself alone is gonna allow some certain voids here and there on the wall where paint can seep underneath it. Frog tape is gonna give you probably a 50 to 75% better uh, edge, uh, straighter line than just um, tape alone, but if I want that perfectly straight line, I'm gonna use it a combination of frog tape and caulking. So we're gonna to try to mask and make a stripe on a wall right here. It simulates a stripe right here. So if I caulk on this right here and put some caulking, if I allow that caulking to dry and peel that tape off, what happens is the caulking is going to bond to the wall, it's going to bond to the tape, and as you begin peeling it off, it's going to do what we call bridging, and it's going to peel off in certain areas off the wall. So it's going to attach itself to the tape, attach itself to the wall, it's going to pull, and then you're going to have some voids on your wall you're going to have to go back and touch up. So in this method, caulking your tape, you have to pull your tape before your caulking dries and the paint dries. Because if the paint dries and the caulking was still wet, you're still gonna end up with that effect where the paint bonds to the tape and the paint's gonna bond to the wall, you're gonna pull it off and you're gonna have what we call bridging. If I'm working in a bedroom by myself, I can do it fast enough, I'm probably gonna do two walls at a time and then move to the next two walls. If you're not as fast and, you, and you're doing it and the caulking is drying, then you just gotta move to just one wall. Typically, a beginner can get a wall done and be very affected with this method. What we'll do on one side, I'm gonna put some caulking, and then on the other side, I won't put any caulking, and we'll see the difference between the two. I like to wear gloves when I'm you know, wiping my caulking off. You should have a rag, so you're gonna to have to wipe the caulking off someplace. So you should have a rag, you should have a piece of paper. Um, we typically, we got masking everywhere. We're just gonna wipe it down onto the masking. So. I got these gloves, I really like the Raven gloves. These things are, um, we just buy them, they're just bulk throwaway uh, nitrite disposable gloves. So made by Raven. Any of the tools, typically the tools and accessories we're using, you can typically find them down in the um, video description below. If you have any tips and tricks when doing this, these types of methods, please leave your comments below. We learn from you. This is the Paint Life community where we're here to educate, empower, and equip everybody. So if you got some tips and tricks, we would love to hear it below. Don't forget, you can also give us a thumbs up if you like the video. So I'm just, now I'm just gonna take and wipe my caulking off. And you're not 
trying to leave any caulking behind. What you're trying to do is just apply the caulking and the whole idea is that's getting underneath any voids that were left behind when you push your tape down. You should be pushing your tape down with your hand to press it down, but once again, on a rough surface, you're always gonna have some form of bleeding. So once I get that done, I would be working on one wall, two walls by myself. If I'm working with a team, if I got one other guy, we're comfortable, typically our team is comfortable doing a whole room, masking the whole room, applying our caulking, and then going back and doing their cut-ins. So now I'm gonna paint over that line, and even with the caulking, one of the things I teach my guys is when you're brushing over your tape, don't put a whole lot of pressure, just use finesse, just press lightly. Get your paint on there and press lightly. Don't try to just, you know, work it in really hard down into the grooves and stuff because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be pushing the paint onto the caulking. You could force that caulking under the tape and then force your tape uh, or force your paint under tape. So now I'm going to mask my top line, which has no caulking, so you can see the difference right there and see if it bleeds because, hey, maybe the frog tape is going to work alone without the need for caulking. So it's done. Once that's on there, I'm not gonna allow my paint to dry. I'm not gonna allow my caulking to dry. I'm gonna peel that off. So you can see I've got some bleeding coming through there. Now I'm gonna take, pull off my bottom one. Theoretically, we should have a straighter line. So there's our perfectly straight line, and that's the benefit to using caulking with your tape. Now I know in a lot of countries, you don't even see these finishes like that. You're typically seeing a level five finish over in Europe. I've been to Australia, same type of thing. And they don't see what we see. So it all depends on your locale where you're at. If I was masking over a level five finish, I probably wouldn't use caulking. I'd probably just use my frog tape alone. That way I don't have any caulking on the wall. Now, what we do here from a lot of people is all you're gonna do is cause cracking where the caulking shrinks right there. So that's a good point and that's a very good question. So we use two different caulkings. We use white caulking and then we use clear caulking and clear caulking shrinks a lot more than white caulking. When, you, when the caulking shrinks, the paint over the top of that, it's gonna crack. But here where we come from, 95 to 90 per percent of the paint we use, this paint right here, the, wa the walls right here are satin, this paint is satin. One of the benefits to satin paints, it's more cleanable, more washable, it does have some sheen that people don't like, but what makes it more cleanable and washable is the acrylic in the paint, it makes the paint more flexible. So this method that we developed over the last 10 years, 12 years we've been using it, we've never seen any any of our paint ever crack over the top of clear caulking. Now, if you're not using the method properly and you're using a ton of caulking on the wall and not wiping it off, then there's greater odds that it's actually gonna crack. But even with the beginners, we teach this method, we're typically not seeing any caulking crack at all using satin. Now, we do use flats occasionally, and we have seen the flats crack when you're trying to use the caulking method to fill uh, gaps and stuff. And for instance, if I've got some, some trim, I'm doing my baseboards, there's a trim, the baseboards, and the baseboards are caulked to the wall, and there's a crack because it's separated over time or movement of the house. You move your tape out a little bit, expose that crack, we're gonna caulk that, and if you're trying to fill that, that gap in paint in one day so you can get out in one day, there's some odds that you're leaving a lot of caulking behind. It's going to shrink. It's going to crack. We just uh, understand it. We accept it. And it's way easier to go back and just touch up the cracks than it is to try to hand cut it in. And we'll use a brush. This is a Premier brush. This is a one inch Premier Montauk. I like to use an inch and a half uh, brush, angled sash brush, but I'll typically use it in a nylon bristle right here. This is a really soft bristle. And we're just gonna go, go back after it dries and we're just gonna touch up wherever it's cracked. So I'm just gonna go back and just cut those little spots in where it's cracked. Once it's dry then, it's never gonna crack again. So it's a very simple, easy process. This is a very effective method for us. Now I do know over in the UK, over in Europe, over in Australia, level five finishes are the most popular finishes. That's typically all you see. Where we come from, 
typically all you see is orange peel and you'll see what we call a Sun Valley texture and it's a smooth texture with some voids here and there. It's not a level five, so it looks a little bit different. If we're on a Sun Valley texture, I'm um, probably not going to need to use uh, caulking. I'll use frog tape to try to get a straight line. Production tape, once again, is going to be for for smooth surfaces and anything you're spraying. If I'm on glass or um, anything extremely smooth, I'll be spraying it over it because the spraying doesn't force the paint underneath the tape. That's one of the benefits to spraying. When you're brushing, what's happened is you're brushing it and you're actually forcing paint underneath the tape, especially if you go at an angle at the tape, it's forcing it underneath it. When you're spraying it, it's just laying paint right over the top. You peel it, you're typically gonna have a lot of success and you're not gonna need to caulk that. So there's some tips and tricks. Hopefully that answers some of the questions you guys have been asking me about that really popular video. I don't know, it's got 350,000 views now, caulking your tape to get perfectly straight lines. It's an, e it's an easy method. And one of the, the things about using that method and using frog tape in combination with that method, I can take a guy that's only been working for us for two, two weeks, teach him how to paint or mask a straight line, and then I can teach him how to use a brush within a couple weeks, and in one month, he's creating lines like this, and he becomes a very effective member of our team. Somebody's gonna start making us money right off the bat. Yeah, eventually this, this guy that's working for us that's doing this in a month, he's making us money, he's gonna have to learn how to use a brush to cut in ceilings, because there's time, there's time and a place where you gotta do that, but I can take somebody that already knows how to do that, put them on the ceilings, put him on baseboards and on trim, and now he's making me money, and that's why there's a benefit to buying frog tape, which is more expensive than your, fro than your production tape, because with this tape right here and a brush, he's gonna end up with results like this. That's not very acceptable to us. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave some comments below. Give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. It really does help us out. It makes us feel good inside. Subscribe to our channel. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And all it does is it allows you to get notified next time we come out with a video because it really helps us out. If you watch our videos, it makes us feel good. So um, I don't know. We'll see you on our next video, hopefully. Or maybe not on it, but on the other side watching it. Out.